So the lining of our colon is similar to skin, and collagen also helps. I mean, you hear about people getting collagen injections in their face. It's because they want to minimize wrinkles. Collagen helps skin. So since our digestive lining is also skin, then collagen helps with that. So in our bone broth, we also have our members that come to the shop, we have them add additional collagen. You can buy powdered collagen. You don't almost even have to have the bone broth, although when you take a look at all the, the healthy list of things that, that are in bone broth, then you know, it's beneficial to have the whole food. But if you don't have access to it, People won't make it. I understand that these things are really, really difficult for some people to make. They don't understand. They take a long time. Our bone broth simmers on low for three days. Some people don't want to sit there and have the flame in their house, you know, on a pot for three days. I get it. So you can do a crock pot, but it's plugged in for three days. So these foods are traditional, and they are difficult to make for some people. But when you understand how beneficial they are for healing and for gut healing especially, then it makes it worth it. It heals and seals the gut. You want to think about that collagen, healing the cracks in the gut lining. It's rich in collagen. 30% of our body is collagen. It's rich in gelatin, so once collagen is cooked, it turns to gelatin, and that's what makes it firm up. Also, rich in the two amino acids, glycine and proline. I mean, those are very beneficial for neurotransmission, um, the structure of the collagen, bone marrow in the bones. So this is what you don't get when you have a powdered collagen. You can just add that to a smoothie. That's great to get collagen into your system, but you don't get the bone marrow. So there's a lot of immunoglobulins, a lot of immune factors that are in the marrow that also help with the healing process. Tons of minerals in the bone also. So collagen, again, is just the connective tissue, but when you boil the bones down and get all of the nutrients out of the bone, look at the list of minerals that are in there, calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and zinc. So these it is a massive um, influx when you drink bone broth of all of these great nutrients.